Calls to reopen the economy are getting heated after a North County gym owner was cited by police for trying to open his doors. It was the tipping point for a city council member now calling on all small businesses to reopen despite the county public health order. Thanks so much for joining us for the nightly check in on this Monday. I'm Mark Mullen. The council member says he will fight for small businesses to open back up, even if it means going to jail. You know what? If you get a citation, I, I want to be there if I can. If you get arrested, I, I'll raise my hand. I'll be the first to get arrested. This all started last Friday when the owner of Metro Flex Gym in Oceanside says that uh, after two months of being closed down, he opened his doors and was told by Oceanside police he wasn't complying with the county health order. Then on Saturday, Oceanside City Council member Christopher Rodriguez in a letter out encouraging businesses to open immediately. By Sunday, the Metroflex gym owner was met again by officers, this time cited. Oceanside police say the business owner was cited for violating the county health order and obstructing and delaying a police officer. You know, I yeah. didn't think that's what would have happened with this. I was just opening my business and I didn't expect to get hauled off in handcuffs. I didn't expect to get interviewed on TV. For now, the gym is closed, but the owner says he plans on reopening alongside other Oceanside businesses come Wednesday. The mayor of Oceanside says no city council or individual council members have the authority to tell a business to violate the county orders. While more local retailers reopened today after the governor loosened some coronavirus restrictions, some local leaders, including County Supervisor Greg Cox and San Diego Mayor Kevin Faulkner, are pleading with the governor to loosen his grip. In a letter, they say the criteria to keep lifting more restrictions is too stringent and unrealistic. In my opinion, and I'll just speak for myself, I think that's an unrealistic standard uh, that uh, any large urban county probably could 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 never meet that uh, for the foreseeable future. And so we hope he'll take a look at that and reconsider. We know that he's going to be making some more announcements this week, and perhaps that'll be included in his future announcements. Okay, here's what's really sticking out to them. Uh, Cox says that um, no deaths in 14 days is the one metric which he hopes the state will reconsider because he says a, a large urban county uh, an area like like San Diego simply will never be able to meet that burden for a very long time. OK, let's get to the latest numbers right now. There have been no do, no new deaths since Friday. The latest positive test rate is 5 percent, which maintains a downward trend. So that's good. 139 of 2,638 new tests and now it's came out positive. San Diego now 5,065 overall coronavirus cases. Governor Newsom says tomorrow he will announce guidelines that dining restaurants across California will be required to follow if they want to reopen. He said the state is also working on guidelines that will allow office buildings, shopping malls and outdoor museums to reopen next. Newsom says over the last 72 hours he's had very constructive talks with 19 counties in the state and some are more conservative about reopening while others are more eager to move forward. A new test that can detect coronavirus and provide results within minutes has been approved now by the FDA. Late this weekend, the agency gave emergency authorization for the antigen test by Cudell Corporations. Antigen tests basically look for the actual virus, whereas antibody tests look for your body's immune response to the virus. This new test uses the typical nasal swab sample and results can be read, we are told, within 15 minutes. A section of Disney World is set to reopen next week. The shopping district known as Disney Springs on the sprawling Florida campus is slated to reopen May the 20th. There will be enhanced safety measures, though. Increased cleaning procedures, face masks for cast members and guests, and additional safety training for cast members. The rest of Walt Disney World Resort will remain closed, including theme parks and resort hotels. Okay, let's get the latest on your weather right now. Here's Dagmar. So what have we got going on for us today? It should be a pretty decent Tuesday, a little on the breezy side, and seeing gradual clearing for the beaches, leaving you in the low to the mid and upper 70s there. Inland valleys, a bit warmer, a bit more sunshine also earlier on. Low to mid 70s there, and keep in mind the wind advisory for the mountains and the deserts is in effect and will remain until Wednesday morning, 5 a.m. Julian, you'll see about that mid to upper 60 mark. A few clouds here and there, but Borrego Springs, you'll be in that cloud shadow, although you you folks will have to contend with the wind. So you're looking at about the mid 80 mark in Borrego Springs. Again, Julian, at about the mid to upper 60s. The wind advisory in effect until Wednesday morning, 5 a.m. 
It is a remarkably hopeful story we are hearing about right in the middle of the pandemic. A local mom gave birth while in a coma because she had coronavirus. So this is Blanca. She was admitted to the ICU at UCSD Health in late March after testing positive with coronavirus. Her condition worsened and she was put in a coma. That is when doctors performed an emergency C-section. The baby was born healthy and tested negative for the virus. Blanca woke up nearly a month later to find out she gave birth. She and her baby were released just a few days ago. What a story. Several local organizations are stepping up during this pandemic to make sure no one goes hungry. And the same goes for pets. Rancho Coastal Humane Society is providing a service that allows pet owners to pick up free food and supplies like leashes, collars, blankets and flea treatment. Anyone can use the service. It's all part of Rancho Coastal Humane Society's community pet food bank, which is completely run by volunteers. We had people that were coming in that were getting meals on wheels and found out that they were eating part of the meal themselves and part of the meal went to their pet, which means neither of them was getting the nutrition that they needed. Because of COVID-19 this month, volunteers are making sure this service is available every Saturday from 9 until 1 at Rancho Coastal Humane Society. That's it for our nightly check-in. If you're a music fan, be sure to subscribe to the Sound Diego podcast. They just released a new episode this week. I'm Mark Mullen. Have a good night.